The story about the family raising their children side by side with wild cheetahs in South Africa. Now we should tell you the parents are experienced animal trainers and the kids are aged three and one and ABC's Gio Benitez has their story. It's the incredible documentary making headlines overnight. It's called Cheetah House, filmed at a South African reserve. Look at this, a cheetah on a leash, playing catch, riding in the driver's seat, and this. Two cheetahs strolling into a living room, playing with toddlers. One-year-old Kayla and her three-year-old brother Malin treat the cheetahs like household pets. Humans and nature can live together and respect each other. When the cheetahs were born about a year ago, Hein and Kim Schumann didn't think Mama Cheetah could take care of all four of her baby kitties. So the Schumanns adopted Waku and Skyla. When you raise them, you know, it's extremely strict. You know, you need to establish uh, dominance and respect first, first of all, um, and maintain that. We showed Schumann's video to Columbus Zoo's director emeritus, Jack Hanna. These kids are cuddling with these yes, cheetahs. Yeah. yeah, they are. And it's okay. Well, they've been raised, the baby cheetahs were raised with them as babies. He says cheetahs are actually gentle. Remember, pharaohs of ancient Egypt kept cheetahs as companions. But even though it's one heck of a photo op, Hannah says, don't try this at home. So if I wanted to go out and get a cheetah, well, you're, not, not a, a good idea. No, it's not a good idea because this is not something you go out and think you're going to do yourself. Schumans are now training the cheetahs to hunt, ironically, getting them ready to someday leave the house. So when they go visit their cheetah in the wild someday, they'll be in their Land Rover seeing that beautiful creature out there 100, 200 yards away, and that's how far they'll stay away from it. And let him be a cheetah. For Good Morning America, Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.